Hello and welcome to this series of videos on the ARM assembly language. Um, in this video, we will write a program under 15 minutes in assembly. Um, before we get started though, I will show you the plan for the uh, crash course for ARM assembly language. Um, we'll have a few videos and um, they'll be summarized in a playlist for you. They uh, go over the introduction, basically, where the, um, the resources that uh, I'm using to collect this information about the ARM, um, then how to write the first program, then we'll go over the platform, which we will use. Um, it's the CPU later platform. And then we'll talk about directives, and then we'll dive into the ARM instructions, and there's a bunch of different types of instructions, and so on. And by the end of this crash course, you will be able to write a simple program in assembly. Uh, for now, what I wanted to uh, talk about quickly is um, the resources that I'm using to um, make the content for these videos. They are primarily two uh, areas where I'm getting uh, those uh, these resources. The first one is the ARMv7 um, architecture uh, reference manual, and the other one is the GNU directive. Uh, I will have the links for both of them in the description of the video. If you're inclined to take a look at those documents, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, maybe you can expand your launch further. But for now, um, you don't have to worry about that. I will get started with the first sim assembly program. So the uh, link to the platform uh, will be posted on the description of the video or inside the description of the video. Uh, we will be using the CPU later um, platform to do all the exercises in this class, feel free to um, follow me or watch the video and then try it yourself. Um, so to get started, um, I'm going to show you the basics here. You have a set of registers on the left side. There's a bunch of other windows. We will, again, we'll talk about them later down the road. Um, there's a few settings um, that you can choose from, like how to display the information. For instance, you have the editor on this side of the screen where you actually write your code. And then once you assemble the code, it will go to the, you can view it in the disassembly and then the memory content, it will show you what the content of the memory is. And like I said, not to worry, if there's so many things that you're looking at and you're getting a little bit overwhelmed, um, we will talk about them uh, in more details later. But for now, what I wanted to show you is a very simple program that actually loads two values and then adds them together and store them back into the register. So for the uh, assembly language that we're using here, which is the ARM v7, this is the 32-bit um, ARM version, we have to have a an entry point. Basically, where does the code start? Um, in this platform and also in the other platform, which is the DE1 SOC board, um, that symbol is defined as the underscore start. So basically the code that you type under this symbol will get assembled and executed. This is a starting point um, for the program. So if you think about an analogy to this in C or C++, this is more or less like your main program, and that's where the program uh, starts. Now, uh, if you notice, there is a symbol called global. This is actually a directive. Uh, we'll talk about directives later, but for now, what you need to know is basically if you put your code here, you if you're inclined, you can also end it with a dot end, and then whatever goes here is your program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load two registers with two values, and then I'm going to add them up and store them back in a third register. The instruction to load a value into a register um, is move. So MOV, I'm going to move a value into R1. So R1 and then hashtag for the the value. Uh, so hashtag means like this immediate value. We're not moving something from somewhere else. We're moving this immediate value, the value of five. And I'm going to move another value to register R2. Let's say I'm moving the value of three. And then I want to add these two values and store them into a register. So the instruction to add, very easy, just add. And then uh, R3 is the destination register and I want to add R1 to R2. And then the result will be stored into R3. Um, assembly is really not that difficult. It's really pretty straightforward. If you understand what the instructions are doing, there's a bunch of them. Um, 
you'll be good to go. You just take it one step at a time. You can take a look at the content in the memory, in the registers, you execute the code one step at a time, and you should be able, you should be good to go. So uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually compile and load. So what this does is it assembles the instructions. Um, by the way, I think it should be called assemble and load, not compile and code. You're already writing this instruction in the assembly. So you're going to assemble the instructions, load them to the environment, and then start executing. So when I click on that, it shows you, um, it moves directly into the disassembly window down here to show you that these instructions have been uh, converted or assembled and loaded into the uh, the environment. We don't have a physical board here. This is all online. Um, and it shows you the address at which the instruction is stored. So at address zero, we have this move instruction. And then next to it, there's the opcode for the instruction, which we'll talk about later as well. Like I will show you how this code is actually converted into hex values. And then it shows you the actual instructions that are actually going to be executing. In our case, these instructions are pretty straightforward. It's just two moves and an add. So there is no conversion. There is no alternation. It's just going to be uh, moving these values. And then um, if you're inclined, you can also take a look at the memory. You'll see that the instructions are here. We don't have to do that because we're not debugging anything right now. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to step over. So you can you can step into the program. You can step over the instruction. You can execute the, the program entirely with this environment. Um, but if you step over, it will execute one instruction at a time. So the first instruction was to move the value of 5 into R1. 5 in decimal is equal to 5 in, in hex, it's just 5 in hex. So here we'll see that R1 contains a value of 5. Um, when a value in a register is changed, it highlights it for you. The platform will highlight that the value has changed into the register. And then um, I'm going to execute the next instruction. So I'm going to click on step over. So that's five that we moved three into r2 right here we see that and then i expect once i execute the add is to add three and five which will equal to eight and i should see the value eight into r3 here we go so i executed that instruction now i see the value eight loaded into r3 um, and that's it that's the program we were able to load two values into two different registers and eventually add them and store them into a third register the, by the end, like I said, of um, if you follow uh, the course materials and if you watch the entire set of videos, uh, I hope that you will understand assembly in depth and um, you'll be able to write programs. You can load and store values uh, to and from memory. You can manipulate the values. You can actually write a program that executes a specific type of um, task. For example, you can maybe count the number of characters in a string. You can perform different instructions based on some input and so on. But for now, um, like I promised, I wanted to show you a quick way to um, get started with the ARM assembly language. And uh, the links to the platform that I'm using is in the description of the video. Uh, feel free to rewind and watch this video again and follow along. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.